In this tutorial we will learn about the basics of layers in Photoshop. Working with layers is definitely an excellent feature of Photoshop and also the preferred feature for many of us using Photoshop. Now, let's learn about mastering the layers panel, so as to be able to work with multiple images easily in a single document. First let's begin by creating a new document. We shall create a document which is 2600 pixels wide by 1625 high. And we'll keep it at 300 pixels per inch, RGB color, and 8 bit with a white background. Now we will click OK and a new document opens up in Photoshop. Let's now see what we should be doing in case we want to add extra files. Firstly we will choose file and then browse in branch. And, since we want to select the grapes file and the oranges file, we will press and hold down the control key and then click on both of them. After this I will use control O, so that we can open them in Photoshop. Now, we can see three different tabs, from which we understand that all the three files are open and to navigate through the different tabs, we can simply click on the different tabs. For instance if we want to move the oranges into the untitled one there are different ways we can do it. One of the ways for doing this is by clicking and dragging from the layers panel. All we need to do is just click on the background and then simply drag this across. And then for the untitled one, we will just drag it on top of the tab, which will pop that to the foreground. If we want to center this image, we will have to place the cursor exactly on the canvas area, press the shift key, and then release the cursor. Now we don't require the oranges file to be open so we will just close it by clicking on the X icon. We now want to add the grapes file. It's in fact very easy for us to see the two documents at the same time, to drag and drop between them. So we will first choose window, then arrange, and then tile. Since we can see both the documents now, we can easily look at the layers panel and also see that the grapes layer is targeted. Now we will click and drag it to the top of the untitled one, again, pressing down the shift key and then releasing the cursor so as to drop that right in the center. We don't need the grapes file open anymore and hence, we will now close it. Now, we find that all the images are in a single, multi-layer document, we will use the eye icon to toggle the visibility of the different layers. Now, in order to select a particular, all we should do is just click on that layer. One thing we should remember is that the background layer is a unique layer. Actually there are three things which make it unique. We can't change the stacking order of the background layer, so we can't reposition it here in the layers panel, by dragging it. Even the background layer cannot contain transparency. And since the background layer is locked, we can't move or reposition it. And if we want to unlock it, we need to simply click on the lock icon. And, we can now just drag the stacking order and reposition it. And by erasing a part of it we could also have transparency and we can reposition or move it around. Currently, we will move ahead and reposition it to the bottom of the layer stack. If we toggle the visibility of the orange layer in the background layer, we can see a checkerboard which represents transparency in Photoshop. Now, once again let's make the bottom layer visible. And by just double clicking on them let's rename these. We will just name this one white and click enters to apply it. Then we will toggle the visibility of the oranges layer, and click to select it and then double click and type in oranges so as to rename it and then click enter to apply that. We will then double click on layer 2 and then rename it as grapes and again click enter to apply that. Now we are not sure which layer we wish to use. It can be either the grapes layer or the oranges layer, as the banner going across the image here but we just want to show it in the top 50% of the image, we will add a guide. However, there are quite a lot of ways we can do this. One of the easiest ways is to simply select view and then new guide and then we will choose the position. In this case we will type in 50%. And since we want it to be a horizontal guide, we will click OK. Now in case we wanted to drag out guides manually, we can do so by just going to the view menu and choosing to show my rulers and then we can drag out a guide from the ruler area to any position in open document. Now we will use Ctrl Z and go ahead and undo that. Now, if we see both the oranges layer and the grapes layer appear too large, so we need to resize them. But before we make them reduced in size, we want to ensure that we are not only looking at the oranges layer, 
but that it's also selected in the layers panel. Thus we will click on it. Now we'll choose edit, transform, and then scale. However, if we notice, the oranges file is so large that the transformation we are unable to view the transformation handles. So, now we will choose view and then fit on screen. And now we can clearly view the transformation handles on screen. We want to resize this layer now ensuring that we don't squish it. Thus, we will keep its aspect ratio correct. We will now press the shift key and then tap any of the corner points, so that we can make this smaller. We will go ahead and drag up from the lower left and just fit this right in the window. Now when we like its position we will can tap the enter key, or click on the check mark. Since we want this to be visible only in the top portion of our image we will delete the area down here. We will choose the marquee tool and then click and drag so that we can create a selection of that bottom area. Then tap the delete key to delete that bottom portion of the oranges photograph. We can see that in the layers panel because we have deleted the area which it displays as transparency or the checkered board. We will go ahead and now deselect that, using Ctrl D or by selecting menu and then deselect. Now, we will toggle on the eye icon and make the grapes layer visible and again do the same thing as we have done earlier. We will first choose edit, then transform, and then scale. This time a little smaller in size to begin with. Therefore, we can see the corners of the transformation handles. We will hold down the shift key, so that we can constrain the proportions and then just drag this to the left a little bit and then simply drag this to scale it down. And now we will scale the right side up. We do not want these leaves showing so we will just press and hold the shift key again and simply transform that a little larger, and again reposition this such that it's closer to the top of the image area. Then we will click enter in order to apply that transformation. Now we need to decide which layer we will like better, is it the grapes or the oranges? And now in this content we prefer the oranges. So we will actually remove the grapes layer. We can do it by just dragging the grapes layer down to the trash icon located at the bottom of the layers panel. Or we can select it and just tap the delete key. By now we have done enough work on the image just want to save it. So, we will choose the file, and then save it. We will name the file oranges. We will save it save it in the Photoshop format, with layers as a multi-layered PSD file. And we want to save it to the 06 layers folder and click save. And now we will choose file close and close the file. And we will choose browse in bridge and return to the bridge. And here we can see our multi-layered oranges PSD file.